We shouldn't cast our pearls amongst swines, right? Because they'll trample them and throw them under their feet. In other words, basically saying that they will hurt you, right? And how can we identify a swine spiritually, right? By their fruits. We know a person by their fruits. And when you start to look at people's actions, you will understand who they are and where they come from and who sent them, right? Now, let me tell y'all how we hurt ourselves when we put ourselves in situations that God never intended for us to be in. Because God just told us not to cast our pearls among swines. But sometimes we can think we Jesus. Sometimes we can think we a savior, right? So we go forth anyway. We continue to give our pearls thinking that they won't cast them under their feet like God told them. Like God told us they would. And we hurt ourselves. And then once we get hurt, now we're in the position where it's, woe is me. I can't believe this happened. And we may run to God questioning him, asking why is it that he allowed this to happen. And he's asking us, why did you allow that to happen? Because I gave you free will, number one. Number two, I already told you what these people do. I already gave you the insight. See, God puts us up on game through the Bible. But a lot of times, we don't realize that. We don't take heed to the word on assignments God never called us to while leaving our assignment deserted and then we're in a position or a state like I said what was me and we're questioning God and God is trying to figure out did I not call you to be as wise as a serpent did I not put you up on game have I not given you the blueprint why are you taking on assignments I never called you to run to me yes I will heal you but I need you to understand was taking place i need you to understand why i said do not cast your pearls among swines because a swine can't be nothing but a swine a pig can't be nothing but a pig you cannot change them only thing you can do is do what i called you to do so yes we hurt ourselves sometimes most of the times we do because we don't want to listen to what god has said we don't listen we too busy trying to prove ourselves when we need to be listening so not only do we need to take heed to God's word, but we also need to take heed to what people is talking about. Because the Bible indicates that from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, which indicates to us that a person will spew what's in their heart. So if a person is a swine in the spirit, we'll be able to identify that by the words that's coming out their mouths. But if we're not listening, we won't be able to identify that. So now that we understood the assignment, we will no longer cast our pearls amongst swines. I always do believe that there is purpose in pain, but it's some things that we go through unnecessary pain. We put ourselves through unnecessary pain when God hasn't called us to that. So we have to be wise as serpents as God has called us to be. So let's stop casting our pearls among swines and understand that God has given us his word. So when these snares come, these pit holes come, that the enemy has laid in our path so we can fall in and we can be in our emotions and we can be down for the count, we can walk over them, that we can walk around them because we have taken heed to God's word. And we understood the assignment of not casting our pearls among swines because we already know what they are doing. We already know what they are sent to do, right? We are going to be as wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We are no longer putting ourselves in unnecessary pain. Pain bursts purpose, but the pain that God has called us to go through, not the unnecessary pain we are putting ourselves in because we are trying to prove a point.